Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make slow cooker chocolate chip cookie bars. This is a great trick to have up your sleeve on those hot summer days when it's so hot you don't want to turn on your oven, but you still have a hankering for chocolate chip cookies. Well, the slow cooker is your answer because it's really just a miniature oven, and today I'm going to show you how to use it. You'll want to line your slow cooker with aluminum foil to create a little bowl. You just press the aluminum foil against the sides and smooth out your bottom surface. If you didn't want to use foil, you can always use a pan that fits inside your slow cooker. It has less volume though, so you'd have to half the recipe. Either way, you'll want to spray it with non-stick cooking spray. You really don't want your cookie bars to stick. Next, we'll move on to making our batter. I have a cup of melted butter here in my bowl, and I'm going to add in two cups of brown sugar. Stir this together until it's smooth. Next, add in two eggs, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix this together. Last of all, we'll add in two cups of all-purpose flour. Once this is all mixed together and smooth, go ahead and pour it directly into your slow cooker. Gently spread it out to cover the bottom of your slow cooker. Now sprinkle some chocolate chips right on top. Today I'm using a mixture of both white and milk chocolate chips. But feel free to use whatever combination you prefer. And don't limit yourself to chocolate chips either. You could also use peanut butter chips, butterscotch chips, toffee bits, or even your favorite candy bar crushed up. Now I have one last trick for you. The slow cooker creates a lot of moisture and condensation. So to catch all of that, you just take a paper towel, just lay it down and put your lid right on top. Now let this cook on high for two and a half to three hours until the middle is set and isn't raw anymore. Pull it out of the slow cooker, aluminum foil and all, and let it sit for at least an hour before slicing. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a quick thumbs up to let me know. For more great slow cooker tips and tricks and over 150 slow cooker recipes, including more desserts, you should check out my cookbook. I'll give a link in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later.